Yeah, I've scored an 800 on the digital SAT math section multiple times. And the strategy that I'm about to share with you, it's not only an essential strategy for, we for reaching top tier math scores, it's also gonna save you hours of studying. So this question reads, the function g is defined by the function g of x equal to a to the x plus b, where a and b are positive constants. The graph of y is equal to g of x in the xy plane passed to the point 0, 15, and negative 430. What is the value of a times b? So I'm just going to go straight to Desmos, and I'm going to input a table with these two points that they gave me, which are 0, 15, and negative 430. And what I can do with that is I can write a regression, which a regression is just a fancy way of saying a model, but this regression is going to look similar to this format, a to the x plus b. So this regression here is going to be y1 is proportional to a to the x1 plus b. And so the y1 here corresponds to the y1 in the table, the x1 corresponds to the x1 in the table. And here you can see that they just gave me an a value and a b value where it essentially graphed me this exponential function based on these points and based on this uh, formula format. So with that, they asked, what is the what is the value of a times b? And so our a was 0.5, our b was 14, and so we get 7 then as the correct answer. If you'd like to learn more essential hacks like this for the digital SAT, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.